In this video, we are demonstrating easy techniques to close a wound under tension without layered closure or lots of different types of sutures. Here, we are using a MySuture three tier skin simulator. The first technique is to select a non dissolvable suture in order to control wound closure over the time it takes for the wound to heal. Removal of sutures is delayed over the most tense parts of the wound. The second is to start at the apices and work towards the middle. The final two techniques require some finesse. In the first technique, after you have tied the first knot, the surgeon's knot, ensure to keep the short thread short. You then throw a reef knot, but you do not alternate the position of the long and the short thread. Instead, as you bring the short thread through the loop, you apply tension only to the short suture until you have the desired wound approximation. This is a slip knot. In the second technique, after you lay your surgeon's knot to the correct tension, You keep the long thread taut and you slide the short thread over to the same side as the long thread. The knot will hold, you continue laying square knots, alternating your throws. So in technique one, you slip the knot. A surgeon's knot is made. This is followed by a reef knot. You do not alternate the position of the suture ends. You pull only on the short end to retension the closure and lock it by then putting tension on the long suture. And in technique two, you hold the knot. This is performed by laying your surgeon's knot in the first instance. Once the desired approximation has been achieved, the short end is used to pull the knot to the same side as the long suture and the final reef knots are laid to secure the knot. 